We're here with the St. Louis legend, Heavy G. A big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship. What do you got cooking up over here? My food truck right here. Selling uh, Rotel, that's, that's some little St. Louis, like some nachos type shit. And we selling my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been doing this shit for one year as of last month. So this is my one year anniversary. It looked like drink, but, but it ain't, ain't what, what you think. think. Yeah, that's my newest flavor, I want you to try that. Mm -hmm. Far, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did, going to get some drink and shit. And I started selling the sodas for $20. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying those some Fagos. And the stock actually went up 10% within the 30 days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know? So own it, own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it. Because you know, the Fago sodas was $2, so I'm like, I gotta make all that money back that I missed. So I'm making mine 25, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the Rotel right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> it's fire. This our culture, this is what we do. We eat, we eat Rotel, take bitches to the hotel, and make sure you <laughs> <laughs> This the best exotic store in the Midwest. <laughs> St. Louis, <laughs> Missouri, the Midwest. I'm standing on it. This the $5 snack table right here. This for the scrambles. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the Skittles without the shell. Crazy. This what they selling in here. How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Cause I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, be, it'll cost an epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. This costs $25? Yes, for regular lemonade. That is crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You would never get this taste anywhere else. It's definitely delicious. But if I were to tell my wife, honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade, I feel like I would be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand too. Okay. What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day, it ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, it's right? Yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than ups, but you gotta fight through it. We gotta go get this food, man. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination plate with St. Paul. Oh my granny. Oh, yeah. Out of all these, which one you think you're gonna like? First Compound. You gotta go. Beef no, 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 <laughs> the next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Uh, here's the article. Very sad, an immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two, like we always be in competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not on their phone or not just posted up somewhere, like just sitting outside. There's, 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 there's a lot of people that live so much of their life just on their phone. Uh -huh. The Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? You know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you're over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's why it's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going on regardless. Any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun, and you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's good as far as all these niggas on that, so you everybody can legally have a gun. And So the playing field is equal, at least. Yeah, damn right. But a lot of good. <laughs> I used to post up my whole childhood. I, I'm gonna have to get this intersection tattooed on me. I used to sit on that motherfucker <laughs> every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. All the niggas done died down here. A lot of niggas done tried down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is, I ain't gonna lie. The only person that could, that could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie, the ops probably didn't roll past us since we've been out here. If they know I'm out here and see the type of shit I'm doing, they'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But Is it true that there's that. helicopters here that chase cars? Yes! Yeah. Really? Yes, it is. You Let probably gonna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? It happened like last night or something. Yeah, you ain't seen that. It had the flashlight on. Yeah, yeah, people will really be in a car running away from a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no! <laughs> <laughs> I know that shit, man. <laughs> 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 Boy, you ain't see the slide. He's in your hand. Come on. 
the screen. Hey, stop doing them, dog. You know I got PTSD. I was, a motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at, arm out the window, flagging them down. <laughs> Kevin pushing. Police have to ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. No, they don't. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. Yeah. How old is the average kid when they get their first trap around here? Entering your teens, 13, 14. I ain't gonna lie, if somebody wanna do some gangster shit, they gonna do it for the main street. <laughs> I usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot today. I wore the Nikes for a reason. <laughs> you quick on your feet, you wanna raise down? Dude, I'm a, I got a pretty quick 40 yards. Oh, when I get to this phone, you go. Fine, fine. There we go, you gonna put that. Alright folks, this was an adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep them motivated, hustling, excited? Man, be yourself, you won't need no help. Stay true to you. Understand yourself, push, just push, that's it. That's all I can say. All right, folks, we'll see you next week. Peace.